Hello Aquarius, this is Sage the Intuitive. I am here to do a general love reading for your sign. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The easiest way to donate the ch to the channel is through your like, your share, your subscription, and or your comment. We're kind of going to go in and just see whatever comes out, what's going on. This message is timeless. If this is not your message, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus placements, um, North Node, whatever you feel inclined to. If you see a title that, you know, feels right for you, you know, check that out as well. So whatever you feel is a reading for you potentially could be. And if this is not your story, doesn't mean that the next one won't be. All right. So we're going to get started for Aquarius in love, please. We're going to see. It's safe for you to love. Some of you are very guarded. You're doubting um, love, maybe due to some type of past experiences. Um, the angels here are saying that you should open up your heart so that you can give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. I feel like some some of you kind of had put have put love on a back burner um, due to past heartbreaks, um, just past past experiences, people who have betrayed you, or just having trust um, trust issues. Again, due to due to things of the past. Anything else for Aquarius, please? Some of you have met someone already. And as I said, that passion came out. Some of you have met someone um, that you are very passionate about. Um, wondering if it's okay to open up to this person. Wondering if it's okay to um, be vulnerable with this particular person. So let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can, maybe we'll see what happened. You have a bunch of, bunch of directions we can go here. <clears throat> Some of you can be dealing with a Virgo here, um, Aquarius, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Really analyzing the situation, really trying to um, be smart and um, critical with, with your thought process here. Um, but this is saying that this is the situation. Yeah, it goes right into it being safe for you to love because there shows here a passionate um, connection, a love connection, a potential love connection that could grow. This is like a wish fulfillment here. And they're saying that this is a good omen so this is positive, um, the way that it's coming out here, that this this is something that you could go towards. This is a person that you can, um, can rely on at this point. There is love here. There is, you know, some type of romantic connection here. Yeah, it may be time for you to stop being so detached and, and um, you know, having up a barrier, having up that wall and really trying to celebrate um, your life, this connection and anything um, significant in your life. You're, you're very protective of yourself and um, your heart space. And this is saying coming out with um, this detachment. And it's funny because the bear card came out with the card of hibernating. And then we also have the Virgo, which is represented by the Hermit. So as many of you have closed off and decided to kind of do your own thing. And you now have met someone that you are thinking, you know, maybe this is a situation that I can open up to um, someone that I can, you know, rely on and open up to. And this is saying you have a good omen here. There, there is a, um, a real chance here for you to open up. And maybe some of you, when you met this person or found out about this, this was very unexpected, um, for you because you and this person could have been completely opposites. 
And so that's why you were trying to figure, you know, figure out what, what could, you know, like what is going on. Like you may be more of a calm type of energy and this other person could be more of like a fiery energy because the Leo card came out here as well. Um, so you, you're trying to, to figure out like, you know, I don't know, we, we are very opposite. I'm not sure. And again, this, uh, this is, this happened unexpectedly when you met whomever this person is, you definitely was, was not, ex you know, looking for this at the time because you were in your hermit mode, if you will, Aquarius, really trying to like really trying to to protect yourself yeah this so this this situation has been developing over some time so even if you weren't looking at it seriously at some point it has developed you and this person are passionate about each other um you and this person could be um communicating sending messages to each other on social media potentially or you could be watching this person on social media you could be in the spotlight so maybe you do something you know maybe you're a youtuber maybe you do something like this maybe read cards maybe you are in a spotlight um at work because we did see um the ceo and boss card come up as well so maybe you could potentially be in the spotlight or this person could be um but you could be could could be watching them over um you know some type of social media platform or any way you know on the internet or something like that there is some type of communication that is trying to come in for you Yeah, for a new beginning here, something that to start brand new. And I think some of you got a new perspective about this person. Maybe this person sent you a message that caused you to get a new um, perspective. And then now you're in the process of taking baby steps because now we have developing over time and then step by step taking um, baby steps towards opening up. But still having a little bit of like thought process of like, do I open up? Do I not? I don't know. Maybe um, many of you are very connected to source here, your angels, your guides. Many of you are very grounded. So I think, again, tr trying to come out of that mode or should I open up? Should I not? What else is going on in this connection? It looks like the divine is saying that, you know, this is developing. Even if you're not trying to divine intervention, exactly what I said. Even if you are not trying to um, go for it towards anything, I was going to say the divine is intervening, divine intervention, um, to push this forward. Many of you also, with the it's safe for you to love, need, it, need to be reminded that your thoughts can manifest. So just be careful what you are thinking. Um, if you're thinking negative, negative will happen. If you're thinking, you know, positive, positive things will manifest, you know, as above, so below. So just be careful of your thoughts. This is a total transformation and what you're useful use used to this is a rebirth and a renewal in a love situation and um i definitely feel like you and this person are like polar opposites uh for sure um just really feeling feeling like you know someone here is a more of a, a fiery energy um where you're more in your thoughts that's you know, typical of like a, you know, air sign anyway, you're more in your thoughts, but know that luck is on your side when it comes to this, um, this situation, this is a, <laughs> excuse me, a huge opportunity, um, for, <coughs> excuse me, choking on my, on my words. This is a huge opportunity for, um, you to really open up and expand yourself in love. Some of you are are really trying to to uh, recover from an unhappy marriage, but discovering that could have been why why you're so guarded. You could have been in an unhappy marriage or unhappy um, situation. Some 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 were dealing with addictions and stuff um, as well. But um, this is saying again 
you're discovering that you, you know you found your way the divines kind of stepped in here and is sending you on a quest with someone with someone new here let's get some final messages and then we'll we'll close out here cards want to come out i put them back and it came out anyway so someone's gotten an aha moment here something has been illuminated here um for you after your time of isolation it is time to open up so the same messages are really coming coming forth i think this is an epiphany for many of you because the, you were in some type of stalemate again blocking out love and relationships and things like that um now focusing on the divine to give you what you need this is a brand new beginning in love that is trying to come forward for you um you could be dreaming about this person you guys could be um could really be communicating with each other telepathically this person that you're dealing with is very successful um again if it's a masculine energy, they're coming up as a masculine energy. Um, take it as it resonates, or it could be you. And um, coming up as an um, alpha male here. So it could be, definitely be somebody who's a boss, who is in a very important um, career. And now um, you are overcoming these obstacles. I think obstacles of your mind that you have been holding back on not wanting to move forward, just kind of questioning everything. Now it's time to finally break free. Oh my goodness, with the um with the card with the um stallion card here because now you're getting the guidance to um to move forward. It's like the divine is lifting the veil so that you can see things clearly and that's why they're telling you it's safe. You're you've done what you needed to do. It is safe. This person here um yeah, you felt like all of this was an illusion, but you got enlightenment or this person that you're dealing with got some type of enlightenment. You could be dealing with the Aries here, but the more about this person, this person could be very independent. Again, I saw fiery energy. So this person could be someone who's very fiery because we saw... Um, a lot of fire signs come up um, here. Uh, Leo, we saw Leo come up. Now we're seeing Aries come up. Could be dealing with someone with a very fiery type of um, energy. So they could be more aggressive and such. And that's why you are um, really like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But this is a soulmate that the divine is bringing in um, to you. So after all all of this um this is a strong soulmate someone who's very independent confident and um they they're like calm cool collected like when you guys communicate they're like very calm cool collected this person is interested in marriage and deep commitments as well um so know that their intentions are good aquarius let's get final messages for aquarius this person definitely is thinking of um, higher commitment. Yes, yeah, time for you to make a decision. That's why I'm saying it's safe for you to love. This is protected, so don't worry. Again, the divine is protecting you. Um, you're divinely guided. Yep, you learned spiritual lessons that you needed to learn in the past. So, you know, you don't have to be as guarded anymore. So... With strictly sexual, I don't get that this is strictly sexual. I get that you and this person are passionate about each other um, because we saw passion and then we have addiction, which I was saying before that there could have been addiction involved, but there could also have been addictive thoughts, addictive negative thoughts. Um, yeah, because there was some healing that needed to, to go. There were some old wounds that needed to be revisited, needed to be... Um, taken care of and maybe that's why you went into to a mode where you were kind of to yourself it's still saying go slow but this is this is safe this is divinely protected um for you aquarius
Any final message for Aquarius? Any final message? New love. Yeah, a recommitment to love, a new love. So know that you are protected. You are safe. This is all happening the way it's supposed to happen. And um, that it is safe for you to love. And this passion is real. It's not fake. Um, if you're thinking, you know, overthinking it, you know, take your guard down a little bit. See where your heart pulls you to. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.